Let's go over the entirety of basic algebra, the math that involves working with numbers, symbols, and operations to find unknown values. Let's get started. Variables and expressions. In algebra, we use symbols to represent unknown values. These symbols are called variables. A variable is just a letter, like x or y, that takes the place of a number. For example, if I say I have x apples, that just means I have some number of apples, but I haven't told you how many yet. We also use expressions to describe relationships between numbers and variables. An expression is made up of different parts. Variables, which are letters that stand for unknown values. Coefficients, which are numbers in front of variables. Operators, like plus, minus, times, or divide. And constants, which are just fixed numbers. And so, if x is equal to 1, then we have 3 times 1 plus 2 is equal to 5. See how that works? An expression is just a combination of these things to tell you how the numbers work hand in hand. Equations and solving for unknowns. An equation is like a balance scale. It shows that two things are equal. For example, 2x plus 3 is equal to 7. This means that the left-hand side, which is 2x plus 3, has the same value as the right-hand side, which is 7. To solve for x, we need to figure out what number makes this true. First, we subtract 3 from both sides, and then we divide by 2. So we found that x is equal to 2. We use equations like this to solve problems in everyday life, and that's where your word problems come in. Graphing. A graph is a visual way to show how numbers relate to each other. We use a grid with two number lines, one going left and right, which is the x-axis, and one going up and down, which is the y-axis. Every point on this grid has an address called coordinates. Our coordinates are labeled x, y. For example, this point is at 4, 200. If we graph an equation like y is equal to 2x plus 1, we can substitute x with different numbers and observe a pattern through the line in our graph. For example, if you substitute x equals 0, your y value would be 1. Or if you substitute x equals 1, your y value would be 3, and so on and so forth. Linear equations. A linear equation is an equation that forms a straight line when graphed. The most common form is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope, or how steep the line is, and b is where the line crosses the y-axis. For example, in y is equal to 2x plus 1, the slope is 2 which means we go up two steps and write one step for every point. And the line crosses the y-axis at 1. If we plot points using this equation and connect them, you can see that we got a straight line. Systems of equations. Sometimes we have two or more equations that we need to solve together. This is called a system of equations. The goal is to find values for x and y that make both equations true at the same time. For example, we have y is equal to 2x plus 1 as our first equation, and y is equal to negative x plus 4 as our second equation. We want to find the x and y values that satisfy both of these equations. We can do this through methods like substitution or elimination, but no matter which method we use, our final answer gives the values of x and y that work for both equations. Polynomials 
A polynomial is an expression with more than one x term, like x squared plus 3x minus 2. We can add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. One important skill in algebra is factoring, which is breaking a polynomial into simpler parts. For example, x squared plus 5x plus 6 can be rewritten as x plus 2 times x plus 3. This is helpful when solving quadratic equations. Quadratic equations A quadratic equation is an equation that includes x squared, like x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. There are different ways to solve these, like factoring, using the quadratic formula, or completing the square. For example, if we factor x squared plus 5x plus 6 into x plus 2 times x plus 3 equals 0, then x could be negative 2 or negative 3. These are the solutions. And that's it. Again, some details were left out, but if you thought you could master algebra in one short video, then you're absolutely insane.